Hola, my name is Naomi Ortiz. I'm coming to you from Tucson, the current and ancestral lands of the Atom and the contemporary settlement of the Pasquayaki tribe of Arizona. I'm a poet, writer, and visual artist whose work focuses on self-care for activists, disability justice, climate action, and relationship with place. I'm the author of Sustaining Spirit, Self-Care for Social Justice, which is a nonfiction book that delves into self-care tools and strategies for diverse communities. Sitting in front of a bookcase and several paintings are stacked against each other and a couple of those paintings are behind me on the wall. I'm a light-skinned mestizo with short dark hair, hoop earrings, some amazing red lipstick, and I'm in a dress with a blue bolero. I'm sharing two poems with you today in this theme of celebration. We actually don't have a lot of poetry celebrating the beautiful aspects of love between two disabled people. So this first poem is simply called A Crip Love Poem. I drop my cheek down to your chest. Prop my weight on tender flesh encased heart restrained only by rib cage. Let me slide over and dunk my eyes on gentle hip curve, powerful thigh. Roll my tongue over neck to taste your bitters. Kiss eyelids clean. Inhale your exhale and not even miss oxygen. This is me feasting on your splendor. CP elbow stab is our crip love punch. Touch is lovingly risky. Sometimes concrete weight, a nerve ending, or electric spark muscle response. Being present is a startle hazard. Sip fresh juice from simple afternoon and sunlight sparkle. You take my hand. There is warm comfort in being held. I hug you. Like magnet, you compress head first. I stroke your temple, you practically purr out loud. You wrap me in your arm and focus all of your attention on the other arm's wrist ball to land on my shoulder gently. This is when I know you are nowhere else but right here. To find joy, after life's little catastrophes, we dance on living room carpet. You wiggle hips next to mine. Our rhythms never match. Yet this shuffle, trip, twist, push-pull, stumble is Crip Love choreographed. This second poem was a finalist for Sid Perlman Dance Company's Home Body Installation titled Majestic, Disabled, Queer, People of Color Elders Instruct How to Dance in the Struggle. Drag that chair out to the dance floor. Find your own damn beat. The one that brings chin, shoulders, hips, wrists alive. With palms open, grasp air abundant from sky, pull down into lungs, Embrace, sit, sway, take a minute before arms emboldened cross to caress chest, spirit, soul. The lyrics might steam with desire or cumbia with done me wrong, but what they are really saying is when there is struggle, there also must be a tending of joy. How do we tend joy? There's no secret. You can't just, with the power of your mind, will things to change. Yet every ancestor who came before seasoned that shoulder pump and jut with optimism. Fingers will always trace where you end and the world begins. The mistake is to not understand movement is sensual love, exalted joy, a return to the singular pain of being alive.
Movement smells like salty sweat sobaco, the cataclysmic sulfur of creation. Blessed juniper smoke, drenching space from bundle lit. Girl, you can't pound the floor with clenched jaw. You gotta open that mouth to sing, to determine the taste, to chew up and spit out, digest truth through body to soil. It all goes back to the soil. With those hands waving up, reach out, touch what lives at your side, your other side, shimmy weight hip to hip to balance, constitute ground. Own those spasmic rhythmic vibrations to unearth the foundation underneath which was tolerated before. Destabilize the unexpected. Endure surprise. The soft punch to the gut. Pause. In the middle of everything, rest. Then, return fist to center. Rib cage, breasts. Twirl heart knee between fingers. Wrist rotate to catch the stem. Pull it up towards the light. With a swing, thrust, release. Thank you.